Welcome back. Time now for the trending stories people are clicking on today at WKRG.com. Kimber Collins joins us from the Digital Alert Desk. Kimber, it's National French Fry Day, and what goes great with French fries? Chicken nuggets. Popeyes gave us the viral chicken sandwich, but they're not done just yet. The restaurant is creating new chicken nuggets. Yeah, Dana, and they are talking a big game on these chicken nuggets. The headline says they will be unlike anything you've experienced before. So if you like their chicken sandwich, these nuggets are for you. They are said to be made with the same recipe techniques and ingredients. The idea, according to Popeyes, is to reset the standard for a chicken nugget. And Popeyes believes that this crunchy chicken will have guests question how they ever enjoyed chicken nuggets before this. Like I said, some big talk here, but I can't wait to try them. Popeyes plans to debut the nuggets on July 27th. Now, I guess the question we'll all be asking ourselves is, are we going to see the massive lines for those chicken nuggets like we saw before? I know, the sandwich went out of stock. And speaking of out of stock, if you were lucky enough to snag this Barbie doll, I'm just going to say it now, keep it in the box. This is the new Naomi Osaka Barbie doll, and it sold out in hours after dropping online, so it could be worth a lot more in the future. Naomi Osaka is a 23-year-old tennis star and is the latest addition to Barbie's role model line. She is ranked number one in the world in the sport and is the world's highest earning female athlete. Barbie's creator says they will notify customers if the doll becomes available again. That is such a cool doll to have, and I'm sure all of the kids who got that one are just itching to take it out of the box. Oh, they're just going to be sad to hear this one. <laughs> I know. Maybe just keep a hold of that. But we have to change things up for this story. He is a lightning expert, but he's also a <laughs> Tampa Bay lightning expert. Chief meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth and Dana, both of y'all are Tampa Bay lightning fans, so y'all need to check this story out. I have heard of the flat Stanley project in school, but I never knew you could flatten a Stanley Cup. Oh, no. Tampa Bay Lightning won the National Hockey League Championship this year, bringing home the 128-year-old trophy for a boat parade. But it seems things got a little too rowdy, oh. though, and that trophy <laughs> was damaged. The trophy is being sent to Montreal now so it can be fixed and sent back for display. And while I read up on this, it seems this is not the first time the cup's been damaged. It happened back in 2018 when the Washington Capitals did cup stance. Oh. Good to know that we're not the first ones to damage yeah. it. We were talking earlier saying, I really hope that the Lightning will be allowed to get the cup again someday yeah. after this damage. All right. I, I got a theory on oh. how this all happened. I think off camera, of course, y'all remember the infamous Tom Brady, Vince Lombardi tossing the trophy when they <laughs> won the Super Bowl. I think someone attempted the same thing with the Stanley Cup. No one caught it on camera. And this is what happened. And no one caught it? Yeah, apparently someone <laughs> didn't get the, emo, the, the memo that a 35 pound trophy was coming their way. So I that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Would you stand in the way if someone's throwing a huge trophy at you? I think I might duck. I'd be like, it's that person's <laughs> fault. Whoever, <laughs> that was it. So, yeah. Well, good to see that the Stanley Cup will get resolved there, Kimber, because that's a. That's a, that's a piece of hardware you don't want to see damaged too long. Absolutely. And that boat parade was awesome to see yesterday, too. Yep. That's how we roll down <laughs> here in Tampa. Definitely very cool to watch. Kimber, thank you so much for joining us.